everyone, it's Nicole. Welcome back to my channel, Relax Cut Glue. And today I'm going to be making an eyeball master board. So basically what I'm gonna do is fill this entire sheet of paper with pre-cut eyeballs all over. And I got this idea from watching Shannon Green this past Saturday during her live. She had a sheet of paper that she had done this to and then photocopied it in black and white. And I'm obsessed. You guys know that I love um, body parts <laughs> for my art, especially an eye and a mouth. So I've gone through tons of magazines and some of my already pre-cut images. I have a bunch of lips and stuff over here that were connected to the rest of the body when I was cutting them out. So those haven't been fussy cut yet, but I just kind of set them aside because I think I might do one that has all lips as well. Um, so this will be my master board. I'm not going to cut it up. What I'm going to do is then photocopy it and use it in my art. Yeah. So I want to photocopy it both in color and in black and white. That way um, I can cut it and rip it and use it in ATCs. I can use it in anything. Go here, got this big bad boy. So what I'm gonna do is put all the bigger eyeballs down first and then layer from there to the smallest. And I'm just gonna kinda put them down every which way. Oh, so I've missed you guys. I haven't done a video in, I don't even know, <coughs> quite a few days it feels like. Um, Friday, I got a flu shot. Jackson made me get one. And I normally don't do flu shots. I, I thought this was my first one, but then I realized over the weekend that the only other time I've ever had a flu shot is when my nephew, um, my nephew was born prematurely. And in order for me to see him, I had to have, you know, specific shots done. So I, um, got one then. So, and that was four years ago. So, uh, there's no particular reason why I don't get them other than, uh, I don't know, I have anxiety and I just don't feel like doing it. <laughs> um, but Jackson gets one every year religiously and that's also his choice. I mean, I, I want him to have one because he's like me. We both get sick really easy. Um, so, and Bob gets one every year. Andrew does not get one usually and he doesn't get sick very often. Oddly enough, though, the last two years he's gotten um, sick more often than normal, um, but he normally does not get sick. It's very rare. So, anyways, long story short, Bob and Andrew are going to go get theirs this week, too. So, my point is that flu shot sent me into some kind of flare-up um, with my fibro that first day. Oh my gosh, you guys, my arm hurts so bad, I thought I was going to die. It was like I had a flare up, but only on my left side where I got my shot. It was so bizarre. Um, what was really weird is the shot itself didn't hurt at all. Like it was just so it was probably the easiest shot I've ever had. And I don't have a problem getting shots that I'm not, you know, I don't freak out or anything. Um, but my elbow hurt so bad, like all day long. I mean, so bad. I was practically in tears and oh gosh. So then Saturday, um, Saturday I followed the Care Heart Defy auction. I had to go live for a little while. I felt better on Saturday. And I wanna thank everybody who came and watched me during the, five to ten minutes I was on I don't even know you guys I had like a straight-up panic attack <laughs> I don't know why I was just you know it's for a good cause I didn't want to like mess up and ruin anything but anyways I had so many people want to take my classes that I added two more so now I'm doing four classes and I have twice as many people in each of my class <laughs> that I had originally said I would do so that's exciting it made me feel good we raised Together, you guys and me raised um, a few hundred dollars, or yeah, a few, almost a few hundred dollars for the Defy Foundation. So, um, 
I'm really excited about that. And I'm proud of you guys. I'm proud of me. Um, I'm glad that we could give back. And we are going to have so much fun gluing together. I'm excited about it. So then I was exhausted after my little panic attack and I still wasn't feeling great, but I actually felt better. Like my arm felt way better on Saturday. Um, but I just kind of felt blah. So I read my book, you know, the book I was telling you guys about, um, True Colors by Kristen Hanna. So I read that all day and I cried like a baby. Um, yep. For quite a few chapters, it was just very emotional and I don't know if it's because I already wasn't feeling so great, but man, Kristen Hanna does that to me. That girl makes me cry. And, you know, her books are fantastic. They hit you. And I'm one of those people, I'm really sensitive to people's feelings. I feel them very deeply. Um, so it's almost like I'm living it myself. Um, so, yeah, God, that book. So anyways, read that all day Saturday. Crying, blah, blah, blah. Um, I went to bed and I woke up yesterday. <laughs> my eyes were swollen from crying for reading my book. <laughs> oh man. So yesterday I just wasn't feeling good again. I had such bad fatigue. I just could barely keep my eyes open and it was football day and I just, oh my gosh, I was barely hanging on by a thread. And then by evening time, um, I decided to finish my book. You know, sometimes I'm a really fast reader, so I try and pace myself because I don't want the book to be over. But at this point, I'm like, okay, I just need there to be some resolution in this book. I need to finish and see what happens. So I did. I finished my book, and then I hung out with family, my family, my boys. So anyways, that's what I've been up to the last few days, recovering from my flu shot that sent me into a flare-up and finished reading my book. It was a big book. It was like 500 pages or something. Um, but I finished it. So now I'm on to the next. What I do is, or this time around I did, I think I bought on eBay, but I'm not sure. I also um, shop a lot at thriftbooks.com. I'm going to do a little haul from them. But I, I bought like a book bundle, I think, from eBay of used books of Kristen Hanna's for super cheap, like really, really cheap. Um, so I had like three or four kind of just sitting there waiting for me to read. Um, so anyways, now I have a couple more I need to read. I also just finished Mystic, uh, what is it? On Mystic Lake or something like that. That was a good one too. I didn't cry. I think I probably cried. I mean, I'm an emotional person. I probably cried. Um, but not like I did to, with this one or like I did with Firefly Lane. That one really had me going. So anywho, now it's Monday morning. Sherman is sleeping right next to me. He's all cuddled up in his little pillow and his little bed. He looks adorable. And Jackson is in class right now. Just our typical Monday morning. I spent the morning... Um, See, I'm starting to think about this too much. I guess stop. Just stop. Stop thinking. Um, I haven't really been watching many YouTube videos this last weekend because I've been reading for hours upon hours and resting. So I watched a couple of videos. I'm still behind. Oh, I feel like I heard like a police siren really close. But then it stopped. Anyways. Thought maybe there was going to be some drama outside my, my window. There's no drama. It was really windy here and rainy over the weekend, which I loved. Okay. I thought I didn't have enough eyeballs, but you know what? I'm thinking I might. Might have enough. Getting little glue vines everywhere. So I think I'm going to have the, I'm going to scan this and then have it printed at my local Office Max or Office Depot, whatever. Same thing. 
so I get really good quality. I'm starting to get glue smudges on these. I don't want that. Oh, there's a Sherman hair. Go figure. Let's see. Oh, here's another big one. Oh, I also had my nephew over on Friday. That's right. I knew there was something else I did on Friday. And my mom. That was fun. My nephew's so cute. He looks so much like my oldest son, Andrew. It's not even funny. It just blows my mind. He had fun out in Uncle Bobby's man cave. They were out there for hours hanging out. Bob has a lot of um, lights and stuff like that out there. So Zayden just was in heaven. He thought it was so cool playing with all the stuff in his uncle's man cave. Bob's a good uncle. Ooh. This is how you know I wasn't feeling good yesterday. Bob was like, I need to go to the Dollar Tree. Do you want to go with me? And I said, no, I said, no. Now you know I wasn't feeling good. <laughs> and I really need to go. Like, I want to go get a bunch of Christmas stuff for my Christmas glue books. So I can get started on that. Oh, I did do this glue book. If you went to the Defy auction, you would have seen it. But, remember, okay, so... Oh, I got an eyeball stuck to my finger. Full confession, I messed up the sticker, the car sticker I asked you guys about. Uh, there was a little debacle that happened. After I got my flu shot, I came home and I tried to do a video and it was a hot mess and I messed up the sticker and it had to go in the trash and I don't wanna talk about it. So I put, the, <laughs> I put this sticker on there instead, it's Santa. And then my signatures are all green, but then I put different papers on each of the little pieces and then I can decorate each piece you know I could have just used um, double-sided cardstock that already had Christmas on it but part of the fun for me is gluing on these little squares or rectangles so I went through and I did that and then um, now I can decorate however I want and I did a nice um, deep spine so that you know if I want to put bulky Christmas stickers and stuff like that on there I can so I'm excited about that. So I have that going. And then I think I'm going to do um, a composition notebook one as well. Because that seemed to be the winner of the poll. So I need to do that too. Yeah. Not wait to show you the books I got. Oh, and I'm going to be doing a rainbow journal. Um, Laura at the Jersey Crafter. Um, we're the same age, and we both loved Rainbow Bright and all that kind of fun '80s stuff when we were kids. And um, she wanted to do a rainbow journal, and I'm like, oh, I want to do a rainbow journal. Can you make a hashtag? She's like, of course I can do a hashtag. So she came up with a hashtag for her journal, and I'm going to follow her little journey. And it's rainbow journaling. Um, I think it's just rainbow journaling. Hashtag rainbow journaling. Yeah. So I'll, I'll give more specifics on that once I start. Um, but look out for her, her videos. I don't know when she's going to start hers. I don't know if I'm going to start mine now um, and have it kind of piggyback my Christmas ones just so I have a little bit of variety in my life because I don't like... Um, I don't like doing the same thing all the time. I'm th I think maybe you've figured that out at this point. Um, I like to have different glue books going at a time because 
it just makes me happy to do different things otherwise I get bored really easily with my art like that's why I do so many different types of art because I've been bored and I like to try new things so but I did just get some cool books for it that make me so happy I cannot wait Okay. Let's see. I do have some bigger ones. This is going to be so cool when it's done. I cannot wait. And the cool thing about this is that you can keep using it over and over and over again because you just make another copy. So I'm thinking I might just do a bunch of in mass, uh, call it an in mass master board because it's going to be a collection of different things so I was thinking I could do one that's like all um, shoes or you know all flowers or whatnot and then I can print them off and use them for collage or ATCs or whatever I'm trying to put all these bigger ones down first but I like the ones with the color. Those are cool. Um. All right. What well, seems like forever later, which was really only, I don't even know, an hour and a half. I finally got this much done. Um, I'm not going to go around the edges anymore. I'm going to trim those. Right now, I'm just going to take a little bit off of each edge. There we go. And then my master board will be complete. I'm not even going to lie, you guys. This took forever. It took forever. Totally worth it, though. And I would do it again. Okay, so. There is my eyeball master board. There was one spot right here, I noticed. And I do have... Let's use this eyeball right here because it's really wide. Right? Like really open. Okay, let's see here. Let's do this one's bigger. So we'll use this one. Okay. There's one little spot right here where there was white. I want none. No white, no space, just all eyeballs. Okay, let's see if there's any more. There's kind of one right here and right here and right here. Okay, so I could cut more off the edge there or just add a couple more little eyeballs. So I think I will add few more little eyeballs there okay so my master board is all finished and I absolutely love it so many different eyes and colors and I like that I put one big eye right here so what I did was I made a photocopy of the eye on my computer or on my uh, with my what do you call those things a printer uh, I don't have the best printer right now, so, you know, it turned out okay. Um, this would be perfect for using in ATCs and all that kind of stuff. And then I did a black and white version, which I love. I'm still going to go and have these printed at my print shop because they'll come out even better and clearer. Um, but these are amazing. And I will use these so much. 
I cannot even wait. So here's the three copies. Let's do it like that. So you get an idea. So how cool, right? Like I suggest you guys do this. This was a lot of fun. It was super relaxing. Um, I am a little exhausted from it, which is so odd, but it was a lot of fussy cutting and cut and paste and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, anyways, uh, thanks for hanging out with me while I made my eyeball master board. Thanks Shannon for the idea. This was a lot of fun and you never cease to amaze us when it comes to um, your ideas and I'm really glad that Thanks, Shannon, for the awesome idea. Uh, you never cease to... Oh, God. Thank you, Shannon Green, for the amazing idea. You inspire me still to this day. So thank you so much for that. And I hope you guys all have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching. Talk to you later. Bye.